What if I told you that you can convert your streams and videos into short form content in real time using one singular plugin? You wouldn't believe me? Well, you should because there's a new plugin that is super hot right now. Everyone's talking about it. Everyone's using it and you should use it too. It is called Vertical and it is made by it is called Vertical and it is made by Atom. If you know the content creators like Harris Heller or Mr. Greggles, then you know how good they are with streaming tips and tricks and just overall content creation tips and tricks. They made this awesome plugin and you can use it to basically convert all of your videos into a short form content, you know, like YouTube shorts or TikTok, whatever, completely edit free and you can upload it straight to TikTok if you want. So how do we set it up? It is actually really easy. Let me show you. So all you have to do is go to the atom.tv website, which will be linked down in the description below and scroll down just a little bit until you see this new Atom vertical plugin for OBS 29 plus. So keep in mind, you will have to use the OBS's version 29 or above for this plugin to work. It doesn't work on 28. It doesn't work on 27. It only works on 29 and above. So make sure you update your OBS and then download this plugin. You literally click download and then choose what platform you want, Windows, uh, Mac or whatever, Linux. Uh, if you choose Windows, it will start the download right here. And then all you have to do is just run the installer, next, 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 install, finish. That's it. It's like three clicks and that is it. Once you do that, you open up your OBS and then I'll show you how the plugin works. So as you can see, we have our OBS open right here. And now we see the vertical uh, canvas right here as well. So what that does is we have our normal canvas, which I, uh, you know, disabled the preview. You can see myself over here and you have the vertical canvas. So whatever is being recorded on the normal one can be linked to vertical. And then once you click one button, it will convert it to an actual vertical video. So you'll see two new things called vertical scenes and vertical sources. So for example, if you have one just chatting scene and then one gaming scene, you can make the vertical scene. For example, we can rename this vertical one into chatting. And then the other one, we can make it gaming. And now we have two scenes. Right now it does nothing. It's just a black screen. But if we go to sources, we can actually add a webcam source. So we go to a video capture device and we add my, my, you know, capture card. You can see myself over here and then you can scale it up to whatever you want. For example, in just chatting, I can make it, you know, full over here. So it goes over the whole screen, uh, just a little bit more. And then all I have to do now is right click transform and then, uh, center horizontally and it will put myself in the middle. So now I'm in the middle right here and, uh, that's my just chatting scene. So if I have an actual just chatting scene, which I don't right now because of my recording, um, I can go right here, right click on just chatting and then link scenes and I can link it to my, for example, this YouTube scene right here. So whenever I switch to this scene, it will switch to the vertical scene as well. So if you're gaming, if you're streaming, for example, and you switch to the gaming scene, it will also switch to the vertical gaming scene. So wh whenever you're doing whatever, you can press the record button and it will save it with that design. So if you're gaming, you'll have the gaming design. If you're chatting, you're going to have your full screen or whatever you set it up as. So if you click the gaming one, you can, for example, have the, the game capture set up, uh, you know, just for example, game capture or, or display capture. Even, uh, if we find a display capture, we can set up a new one and now we can just, you know, put it like this, just a little bit smaller. And then we can have our camera just a bit bigger above. So that can be our gaming scene, for example. Obviously, you can set this up whatever way you want. This is just the way to show you. And that's my gaming scene. So if I switch to the other scene, it will go from this to this. And when I press the button, it will actually record it like that. It will save it with this design right here. So you don't have to do any editing, basically, unless you want to add subtitles or special effects. This is really cool. Uh, how this plugin works, you have to go to this cogwheel button right here, and then you see three tabs. This plugin is being updated very regularly, almost every single day. So I would advise follow them on Twitter and then download their updates every time there is one. So all you have to do is just download the actual installer and then run it again. Make sure your OBS is closed. But they said they're working on the auto updater that might be up soon. We'll see uh, with the resolution. You can set up the resolution that you want. So I have set to uh, 1080p vertically and then video bitrate. I have set to 10,000. 
uh, audio bitrate max 320 you can set up whatever bitrate you want i have a really good pc so 10,000 is more than enough for me if your pc is struggling go for like 8k 6k maybe depends uh you can have the backtrack always on so it always stays on you can have it enable on whatever keybind you want so if you want to save the last for example 120 seconds you can set up whatever duration you want if i want 120 seconds all i have to do is press that one button and it will go back in time in the last two minutes and record the footage like this vertically it's really really cool uh, if you want it to be always on you can just tick this box right here and then obviously the path you want to save it whatever you want it saved uh, for streaming if you have the tiktok stream key or instagram or whatever you can enable uh, the, the put the stream key over here and then enable the the hotkeys and you can live stream vertically while you're live streaming uh you know horizontally on twitch or youtube whatever so you can simultaneously stream which is legit by the way it works it is legal doesn't matter you won't get banned uh and then recording you can do the same thing for recording as well if you want to record you know vertically while recording horizontally really really cool stuff Atom did an amazing job with this plugin and they absolutely crushed it. I hope this video is helpful and I hope this plugin is going to be useful for you because it sure is going to be useful for me. I can't wait to use it uh, in real time and get some cool footage that I can upload directly to my short socials and, uh, you know, enjoy. If you guys did like the video, make sure to drop a like, comment and subscribe. And if you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out and have a good one. Bye bye.